Close to Highland Park, a 10-year-old named Mitch Davis was having a birthday. His parents hired an entertainer off of the internet. I set up the party for my little Mitch. I was excited. Oh, I had the itch. I hired a puppet master to run the show. And he came through in the big van he drove. While Mitch was hanging out with his friends, the puppet master set his way on in. He was a bald guy with the top hat. And he wasn't skinny, but he wasn't fat. He came in and introduced himself as Magi. And he seemed a pretty stand-up guy. As the kids sat on the floor patiently waiting, Magi set up in front of the door and it looked amazing. Curtains and all, it was quite a presentation. And once complete, the lights went out with no hesitation. Bam, without warning, the show began and all the kids became instant fans. It was pitch black in the room and the puppet booth blocked the door. Mitch's parents didn't think anything of it at the time, but the curtains were closed so the parents couldn't see outside the window. Inside the puppet booth was a serial killer, on the FBI's most wanted list for his crimes against children. The act started with the bulldog in a puppet booth. Kids laughed, yeah, this fun was a double scoop. Then the bulldog started biting other puppets' heads off. Blood hit the air, we thought it was ketchup. Then Magi started asking for volunteers. Mitch raised his hand, everyone cheered. Mitch went into the booth and up came a paintbrush with the bloody red tip dancing round in a rush. Everyone clapped as the paintbrush moved around. Then he called the next volunteer to come on down. One by one, they went into the booth until only the parents were in the room as they assumed the children make the paintbrush move. The parents were alone now as all the kids had gone into the puppet booth and watched as a repetitive paintbrush moved up and down. They sat there, in the dark, clapping. Their claps covered the noises of the front door opening quietly. What the parents did not know is the Magi was about to go and take the show on the fly. He led each of the children into his van, and they all willingly followed him. They all thought it was part of the show, and didn't know it was the end of the road. Cause each of the tails was about to be swiped, ripped and pulled by a carving knife. Cause his magi shut the door without explanation. The children all thought it was a birthday celebration. Not knowing it was the very last time they'd ever see the world through their very small eyes. This was an elaborate and horrific mass kidnapping. We can only speculate that the kids were all happy when they were in the van. And when that door was closed, that was the last light they ever saw. As unfortunately, no one Magi has ever kidnapped has been found alive. 30 minutes after Magi has gone, the parents realized that something was wrong. The paintbrush is doing the same old thing over and over, just a repeated scene. So I go and check and become horrified as I see a mechanical hands on the other side, a machine moving the brush back and forth, my mind shocked heart scorched so i rushed to the phone call the police but that phone call ain't gonna bring no peace just then the other parents arrived to pick up their kids and their happiness is short-lived as they hear the terrible news tears come through because their worst nightmare just came true the fbi is currently tracking magi and they don't think he's working alone the only thing reportedly found where the van was parked was a damaged old book called Fishing for Kids by Nancy James. Magi is still out there, taking kids. While he is known as a kid's magician and entertainer, little else is known about him. The one thing we do know for sure is that he loves to make kids disappear forever.